Hello everybody, welcome back to Alcoin Buzz Trading. Hope you guys had a good weekend. The markets kind of did, we were stable. We tried to make a move up yesterday in the afternoon, pretty much right at the close. Uh, we're successful in doing so. Volume came in actually fairly heavily here and then it we, we're pulling in right now. So let's hope we can stabilize out, hold these lows and then make our way back upwards on the daily time frame. A little bit more ominous, we're finding resistance at the 200 daily moving average. Also this prior high, which they're kind of coinciding in the same level. So it's kind of one half dozen and the other on that one. Uh, we got a ways going until our upward sloping trend line here. So no real harm on that situation. And we just, we have to keep moving up. That's pretty much what we got to do. Uh, we could form a base or some type of consolidation. As long as we stay above this upward sloping trend line, we should be okay. But all in all, um, waiting for the move up is really what we're doing here in this, in this day and age. And late September 2024, as historians will say. Uh, Solana, 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 152.58. Beautiful move up here late in the week and then nice consolidation over the weekend. Can we hold up? Can we pull it back up, get past the trend line, make a higher high? That's the fight right now across the market, really, essentially. A lot of altcoins are doing pretty good, though, but these top 20 tokens seem to be struggling a little bit more. It's usually not a great sign, but still holding up hope as everything is holding up. All right, on to our top 20 uh, altcoins of the day here. We got TAO, or BitTensor. Uh, great move up. Had a nice horizontal here across this basing structure and it's it's really just been stair stepping its way higher here that's a great signature uh pull, steeper pullbacks like this really aren't ideal but this thing has this thing has been on our list now for a while so what i do is every day i look through coin gecko and I look at the top 50 tokens and i pull out the ones that are moving the most and this one tends to be on that list more often than not lately so it's in the midst of a good run uh, very good volume signatures here. Even through the weekend, it didn't matter. This thing just kept up with the volume and looks good. Just looks good. Uh, the stair-stepping action is very healthy action. This is actually probably a small version of it's called an ascending base. And then there's your breakout. So very good stuff there. Uh, it'll find a resting point at some point. RSI is getting pretty exhausted. So maybe start looking for some exits on this name if you've got it. You don't want to run for the exits, but you want to look for points where it's finding resistance. Uh, so far, not a lot. You're getting a little bit, but really not a lot. That Your candles aren't very big. Um, everything seems to be just, it looks like what's called block buying, which is where you have volume signatures. Usually, usually they're not this elevated, but th these ones are elevated around the same height continuously. That's like someone buying say 100,000 every day, right? They'll buy 100,000, they need to get a, a position size and they'll just keep buying it. So TAO, bit tensor, uh, looking good. It's a little bit extended for positions. It's very extended for positions. So I probably can't take any new ones unless you have a pullback buy, but those are those can be tougher in this environment. And then Immutable X, IMX, also with a really good showing over the weekend and extensions up here on Monday. Nice little bull flag volume aggregation tool shows tons of pocket pivots. And uh, even on the daily volume aggregation tool looks really good. And also tons of pocket pivots. So Immutable X and BitTensor getting going through the trend line. Um, looking really good. We'll circle back to BTC and end on this name. So this is the leader of the market, but it, it's being very confusing. It's got to get above the 200. It's got to get above this prior high. That's the fight right now. Uh, past that, we could roll back over, form some, like I mentioned, some consolidation structure. But look, ideally, we don't do that. We want to hold up. And the, the, the market's got to start doing better things. Otherwise, we're just going to chop like this. And it's it's been a good run up on this leg. But there's really only one Bible. That was a 60697 And we've only moved up about 5% from there. So it's been really difficult for this market to get moving. And it'll move when it wants to. That's the thing with trading. You're beholden to the market. You're not going to force it to do anything just because you want it to move or you think it's a good spot. Doesn't mean it's a good spot. And that's the, that's the hard part with trading is waiting for that right time and really knowing what it is. It's very difficult to understand that. So waiting for the best trade is usually the best bet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the best five minutes of your day here on Altcoin Buzz Trading. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.